when it comes down to it, what really matters is how present were you? How much were you based in love and truth? How much did you show up for those that you care about and those who support you? That is what is most important. I'll say it again. How present were you? Were you truly there? Are you truly here right now? Don't even worry about there, then. Don't worry about the past. Don't worry about the future. Your presence is required now and only now. And it is your presence now which shapes what is to come and what corrects anything that may not have been the most optimal in the past. Likes on social media, engagement on social media, number of friends you have, the amount of money you have, possessions you have, your house, your car, how sexy your partner is, the type of friends you have, or I should say the status of the friends you have, your, your status. These things are actually all trivial and they don't truly matter in the end. What matters is how present were you when it was happening? Were you in your heart or were you in your head? Were you there for the people around you? Or were you just staring at a phone screen? Trying to escape the moment, trying to dilute yourself Delete your feelings, suppress them, suppress what you need to feel. What truly matters is how we show up now. Now and all now is to come. Remember what is happening is all happening. Not to you, but for you. To help you learn and grow. Access your highest potential. So no matter what's happening, no matter what's happening in your mind, to the heart, come into the trust. There's no more space for belief. There's no more space for belief because belief leaves space for doubt and uncertainty. There's no more space for doubt and uncertainty. We have to know it. We have to trust it fully. Unwavering faith, undying trust, unshakable, unbreakable. Because the trust, the faith is in that which is unnameable, unknowable, beyond the mind, beyond thought, beyond this body, beyond this world. And that force, the best word we can use to describe it is love, it's grace, bliss, truth. That's what this consciousness is, this energy. It's beyond those words as well. Those words could never describe fully what it actually is, what you actually are. No words can describe the mystery and no mind can truly fathom it. So give yourself a moment to think about all the times where you thought it was all going to shit. You thought it was all over. You thought you fucked up. And you allowed yourself to spiral 
into pain and sadness and depression, to attach to these thoughts, to entertain them, to not be present because you were so caught up in what you thought was supposed to happen. That things didn't happen the way you wanted them to. Hola. Bien, todo bien. ¿Y tú? So, allow yourself to feel those moments briefly and, and realize that you could have, you could just be in the heart and do it all. You don't actually need to worry. And that worry and anxiety don't actually alter what happens, but they do alter your experience of what happens. And you can simply choose to be at peace with whatever is happening. Peace is not something that's conditional. It's not something that should be reliant upon the external reality. Peace is something that starts from within emanates outward and we know it right we meet these people who are at peace within and just being in their field brings us to peace so you can choose to be someone who is constantly worrying and anxious and in the mind doubting because even entertaining the mind it just allows for doubt it allows and for belief, when you stay in the heart, when you stay in love, you stay in knowing, you stay in trust and faith, and you just know, you know who you are, you know what you came here to do, you know where it leads, and you do. You just have to actually trust yourself this time. You do know who you are, you do know what you're here to do and you do know where it leads and so there really is nothing to worry about you just it's like you already have the ending of the movie so all these moments where you know it looks it seems like the the main character whoever is it seems like the main character is about to die or get hurt or get injured or something but you've already seen the ending you already know that they make it to the end so can't really be afraid watching that scene play out and so that's what this life gives us the opportunity for it's that we get to watch it we get to observe it play out acting itself out but there's no need for effort there's nothing that we actually need to do nature does nothing yet everything is done and you are nature and so it's really just an allowing yourself to do what you're here to do. Just like every other piece of nature does. It's a, it's a surrender. And in that surrender, the action is done. When I say you don't need to do anything, it's not that I just say just sit in a cave all day it's just that when we are totally in alignment doing what we love the most what we're here to do what is in the most alignment with our being and our soul then it does truly become effortless and we realize in those moments that it's not even us doing it it's coming through us I don't write my songs I don't claim to they come through me the most pure loving things I've said to people they come through me. When I'm climbing a tree or jumping in the ocean, swimming, dancing, it's not me, it's coming through me. It's a flow state. You're allowing the flow. It's be your state. <laughs> so sure we could just keep talking for hours but it's really the message is it's about being present 
being true to yourself. Going with what is the most pure and true at any given moment. Surrendering, being present. Allowing the action to be taken through you. all those other things, all the shiny things don't really matter in the end none of it lasts but this earth walk that we're on is about our soul's growth and in the end we truly are just walking each other home The world is actually beautiful.